All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we got some waffles. Then we have about four cut bananas, bananas. And then we have some frozen raspberries. Y'all, my frozen raspberries have been through the fire, so don't make fun of me, but I really want to use these raspberries and not let them go to waste. So we're gonna use these today. Then we have some chocolate sauce. It's pure made, y'all. And we're just gonna give this a good pour. And you know, you can be indulgent. It's a nice brunch treat, but you don't have to use the chocolate sauce if you don't want to. All right. So we are gonna set this over to the side. It's a nice big bowl. We're gonna add in six eggs. Then next we are gonna add in a cup and a half of milk. That's a little bit more, but I'm not gonna pour the whole thing. All right. Then we got some heavy whipping cream. And we're gonna add in a cup of heavy whipping cream. So this is a half a cup. I'm gonna add two of these. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. About a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're also going to add in a half a cup of brown sugar. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, then we're gonna give this an aggressive mix, y'all. You wanna make sure those eggs are mixed in really good. You don't want any whole eggs in here. All right, so we got that mixed up really well. And we're gonna take this mixture back over to our crock pot. And we are just gonna pour that right on top of everything. You want that to soak in these waffles and these bananas and raspberries. You wanna give it all a good drizzle. All right. And we are gonna set this bad boy on high. Oh, it's already on high. And we got the lid here, and we're gonna pop this on for about three hours on high. All right, for the next part of our recipe today, we have some butter. We're just gonna put through the ricer. Off of here. That looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. Scraping our butter off the ricer here. So the next thing we have is going to be a half a cup of flour that we're gonna add in. Then we're also gonna add a fourth of a cup of some more brown sugar. Brown sugar is getting some work today. All right, then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of cinnamon, sorry, cinnamon. Ooh, y'all, this is gonna be like a crumble at the top. Oh goodness, it's gonna be so good. Then we're gonna add just a tad bit of salt. And that's gonna bring everything together. And we're just gonna give this a 
mix and it is going to be crumble like all right ladies and gentlemen so we got our crumble ready and we still got our crock pot going here and it's been going for a few minutes so we're just going to take this crumble and we're just going to pour it right over everything you know how crumble goes guys right you're gonna make sure everywhere has a little bit of that goodness oh y'all this smells heavenly already i wish y'all could smell it all right guys so like i said we're gonna put this on high for three hours and we'll see you guys when we get back all right ladies and gentlemen check out our bake that crumble turned out perfect right on the top well, let, let's go ahead and just get us we're just gonna get into it oh ho, ho, look at the steam rise we got some of that crumble as well you guys and this would not be complete without a little bit of powdered sugar And it is waffles, y'all, so we're going to add just a little bit of syrup, too. Oh, brand new syrup.